Hey everybody, Real Fan Man here. Welcome to update number 21. So, uh, yeah, really, without further ado, here's the second level. Um, pretty much, pretty much just changed the track plan up. Um, that was probably, that's probably the main thing. Along with, uh, extended the layout out a little further than what it was. So it's about two feet. Maybe a little bit, a little bit bigger. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty much, pretty much what, uh, let's see, you're facing north. Facing north, um... And then uh, you can see the overpass, big in cement, which uh, I actually ordered the Medusa Cement Company. I do have that, and I'm going to have a little bit of a mail call after this update, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Centennial Mills, been working on that. Outdated track plan, pay no mind to this. I, re I actually redid it on any rail. The uh, any rail program I have, so this is not here. That's where the team track I was gonna put it, changed my mind. So, anyways, I wanted to do this because I didn't really like just the mundane straight through with some industries out to the side. I wanted to have a nice curve, some nice scenery, maybe scenic appeal and video appeal to some of the trains coming up and some of the operations. So essentially, team track is still on this side right here. Um, I've moved the tank car loading and unloading facility over here as well. Um, got four spots, two for loading, two for unloading. I'll have, probably I'm gonna put that building right here. There you go, Jay. I'm gonna put that building right here when I, when I get to that part. Move turf care over there. There's the basically the switch right here for this industrial lead, which serves turf care, uh, big and cement, Centennial Mills. Like I said, been working on it. Uh, the windows fell out. I glued them in. They fell out when I was putting on the the um, fire escape uh, platforms and the roof and all that. So I just took them out. I'm gonna try and glue them in today going back on today and then of course last but not least the end of that industrial spur goes to like those shipping so I might down the road change that name um, so this is the main line as you can see right here that pretty much just goes around and I move beamer, beamer, beaver lumber out of the corner and I got to switch there for that siding which this part, this part really hasn't changed much. Um, I just had to lift up that track a little bit, but I used uh, caulking to put down the road bed. Um, and uh, actually glue the main line down. Um, so this is the siding right here. The switch didn't move at all, I don't think. Maybe a couple inches if that. So, which now serves Water Street Freight Terminal. And you can see I have the cars on the other side of the building because I turned the building around. So, that's that. My truck right there, Colin delivering. We got a smell, another smell. Oh, I lost a car. Interesting. See you, bye. Okay, I'm back. So that was the first time that happened, of course, while I'm videoing, right? I think it's just because of the speed. I had to slow it down a little bit because it was catching up to the MOW train. So yeah, again, you know, extended the, the table out, um, rearranged the track work, moved beaver lumber over here. So you can fit like four cars at the most. Uh, Dairy Queen, it's not really set in stone, but somewhere in this area. Um, so what I want to do is, so this is Berniston Mass. This is supposed to represent Berniston. Burniston, Mass, which is north of East Deerfield. East Deerfield Yard. Mind you, the space restrictions and obviously the slanted ceiling. Um, this isn't really prototypical. 
for Burniston Mass. It's just, it's, well, I'm just calling it Proto Lance. So, it's kind of like what I have for buildings. This is what's happening. I can put two industries in there. I'll have some more scenery. I'm working on that um, as we go forward here. And I'm going to have some sort of divider here. Not an actual divider, but I'm thinking like, uh, gentlemen, in one of my videos from way back when mentioned something about doing like an arch bridge. And um, so I'm thinking about doing that, doing some sort of arch bridge to separate Berniston and Deerfield, Deerfield Mass. And this is south. This is all south from the East Deerfield Yard. As you can see, East Deerfield Yard is right there. Now I'm working with a nine foot by 12 foot room, so I'm doing the best I can. Um, but anyways, um, this is South Deer, or this is Deerfield Mass. Not, not South, not North Deer, just Deerfield Mass. Um, I have District 3 industries which are on this side of the main line here's the main line right here so this is a district three industry central gas and these two industries are district three and basically whatever whatever's uh on this side of the main is all district four um, and i'm actually going to start doing the do some rolling the rolling of the dice. Maybe I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, I was thinking about it last night. Get kind of get back into that. I'm giving JMRI a break, but so each side, Burniston and Deerfield have they have a run around track siding. Um, and this, I just put this in yesterday. The smell works great. Um, I kind of wanted to have it run separately from this mail over here that operates this switch, but um, I'm sure I can. However, after using it a few times, um, it makes sense because if I hit if I hit the switch or throw the switch. So right now it's lined up for the main. Now if I throw the switch for the siding, uh, sorry again if I'm moving you around. <laughs> Don't get dizzy on me. Um, it'll, you know, it's thrown for the main. But if I throw it for the siding over here, it'll throw that switch over there. So it's, it kind of works out, I guess. Um, I want to have. I'm gonna put get some Azatrac, uh, get the Azatrac board and get some um, Darth Vader um, lights over here for the signal system. Probably just end up getting another. Um, I think it's a TS3 board to operate those lights, and it'll connect to it'll connect to the smell. So, so essentially, it'll like when I throw throw the switch, it'll. Um, the lights will be in their proper proper settings. Kind of like this one right here. Uh, let's see if I can pull it up real quick. Yeah, if you leave the screen, if you don't touch the controller that much after a while, it's, uh-oh, oh, stand by. Stand by, we have an issue. Okay, I'm back. Issue is cleared up. My MOW caught up to uh, Amtrak apparently, but I only had Amtrak going at like speed step eight. So back to what I was talking about right here. Uh, so here's the controller. That little uh, V right there, or switching track symbol. All I gotta do is hit that. Now I have it labeled for South Deerfield siding, which this is really Deerfield, South Deerfield, it doesn't make a difference. Anyways, so it's lined up for, it's lined up for the main. All right, and you can see the top aspect is green. Now mind you, the lower aspect or lower signal head on this is 
out of commission. It's been out of commission for a little while. I, there's something wrong with the wiring. It will be replaced at some point, but just keep an eye on that. That top signal there as I hit that button. So the switch is thrown for the siding. Now I'm going to bring you over here. Dun, 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 dun. And there you go. So I didn't tie it in on purpose. I think it just happened that way when I programmed it or when I added it to the uh, um, to my ESU controller. It just you know it, it just like coincide with each other. So we're gonna throw it real quick before train comes. So we're going down the main again. Signal green, which I can force stop it. I'm not going to though. And we're lined up for the main. But yeah, interesting stuff. Actually, I could force stop it. That's what these toggle switches are for. I gotta extend the wires on them. But I just throw the switch. Boom. Now we know. Now we know that the there's no there's no access into this track right now because there is an Amtrak coming through. Safety first, we need to make sure the passengers are okay. And yeah, they're okay from that accident down there. No lawsuits have been filed. Alright, so, yeah, lots going on, like I said, just uh, have a little more time to work on the layout. Um, my next steps are to work on the Spatia. Um, can't cut any wood today. It's wet outside. So some, maybe sometime this week I'll get some pieces cut. I was almost thinking about making them um, a little narrow, uh, narrower. Yeah, a lot more narrow than what they are now. Let's just say that. Tongue twister. Narrower. Narrower. We're not a spell, Jay. We're not a talk. I know. Tell me about it. Story of my life. Okay, so. Um, yeah. So fascia, that's gonna get painted black. Um, I don't like the green. I'm not, it's like a, I spray painted all of these before I put them on and not really digging it. So yeah, I'm gonna be working on that. Got all my feeder wires in that need to be in. Ground throws that need to be in. I do have, there I go, don't get dizzy. I think I'm gonna take that second smell I have and I'm going to pop it on that right there maybe or actually I might you know what I might actually use a Wilder's a Wilder's switch machine on that um, until because I gotta get another three more three more let's see one two three four uh, I gotta get like another probably three three or four more snails because I want to put one on this too so but I just don't want them to be in sync with, you know, with the other two I have on the layout. I just, I don't want, uh, like if I throw a switch over on a deer field, I don't want these to get thrown too. So I'll have to read into that as far as programming them on the ESU system. Um, I figured that they, I thought it would just be individualized until... I actually activated them as uh, a unit, so it's all good. But um, so that's pretty much about it. I mean, I'm gonna get this mail call done. I'm really happy with the uh, with this track plan, though. I I, I do like the is even though it's not prototypical for Deerfield. I mean, you know, I'm just working with what I have. My next layout I build will definitely be um, a lot more on the prototypical side as far as scenery goes and where industries are or what industries I, I decide to model after all because that'll be probably the last layout I ever build anyways. Um, which And I'm talking like a basement size layout and you know, that's that. But... Um, 
the first time I've actually come this far, I think, on any layout I've ever built. So, you know, and I'm not looking for a pat on the back. I'm just stating fact, you know. Um, the only thing is, a couple more things. There is CPS, Corn Production Services. That is in Deerfield, Mass. I have yet to decide if I want that on the layout. I might actually put um, a crossover right here and just have it maybe right in this area. So stay tuned for that. And last but not least, um, I talked about it in my last update. I'm going to put a crossover right here and that's going to help with the uh with the couple of the trains that come through like tw like 23k um is a westbound and this is west actually if you're facing it'll just do this that's west that's east on my layout so um and that's the south south De or that's deerfield that's heading south and Berniston, this is heading north so okay uh i want the mail call Thank you very much, everybody, for stopping by, checking out my page, checking out my, my channel. Um, feel free to like, share, subscribe if you're not already. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I appreciate you guys. And I appreciate all my other past uh, subscribers that have stuck with the channel. And, you know, I mean, I, I, I just, you know, I like to do operations. That's why you'll probably see me post more operation videos than like updates or how to's even though once in a while i'll throw one out there but there's there's like a lot of other people out there that throw throw that content out and unless i feel really motivated to do so i'll probably just like stick with the ops videos and the updates um unless of course somebody has you know a specific question that i don't mind doing a video um but other than that, yeah, I'm happy with it. Now let's get to this mail call and uh, stay tuned. Hey everybody, real family man, I'm back as promised. Mail call, I got something from uh, Yankee Dabbler. I ordered it uh, last week on Monday and I got it last Friday, so... Sure, sure you can probably guess what it might be, right? You think you think you know what it is? Okay. A bunch of paperwork here. Oh yeah. Nice. You don't need that, right? That guy right there. So those of you that have watched my my train video, train show video. Or my actually, it was my haul, my train show haul. You'll know what I was talking about. Ta-da! Is she a beaut? Look at that! That's awesome. Can you see me? <laughs> I can see me. So this right here, it's not actually going to be Medusa cement. Um, it will be big in cement, and it'll say big in cement on it. So, anyways, I'm psyched. I look forward to starting to build this kit. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to finish Centennial Mills, and then I'm going to work on work on this guy right here. Um, so I'm psyched. That's going to look good on the layout. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Checking out my update. Please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already. Thank you to all my new subscribers and my past subscribers. I appreciate all of you. Um, I'm sure I'll have, God willing, a couple of more videos up before Christmas comes. But I'll just say, hey, happy holidays to those of you that don't celebrate Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to those of you that celebrate Christmas. And I hope everybody stays safe. Have a good the rest of your Monday evening. Take care. Be safe. Happy modeling. Real Fan Man signing out.